Hello, we're here in Hanoi, Vietnam, the city of motorbikes. How many motorbikes are in Hanoi alone? Uh, there are about 5.7 million motorbikes in Hanoi alone. That's a lot of motorbikes. That's but today, a lot. we're going to look at two special motorbikes. Exactly. These are motorbikes that are made here in Vietnam. Yes. And not only that, but they are electrical in well, nature. Exactly. And made by Vietnam in Vietnam and for Vietnamese people. So first we're going to look at that bike. Mm. You heard me right. Yes. <laughs> that bike. Not that bike. Not that bike. Not that bike. But that bike. <laughs> exactly. In Vietnamese it's called that bike. And uh, that bike I think I'm going to like a lot. It's a uh, kind of a classic almost cafe racer style bike. It's very yeah. cool looking. That's yeah, why, that's cool. actually why we wanted to do this because I saw one on the street and I was like, man, I really want to ride that. Yes. They look awesome. You're going to love it. And then after that, we're going to be looking at the Vin, what's it called? Like the VinFast. VinFast, made by Vin Group, which is yeah. probably the one of the biggest mega corporations in exactly. Vietnam. Exactly. So we can see like, we can compare, you know, the motorbike made by a big corporation and the motorbike made by a little scrappy yeah. startup. Yeah. And also VinFast is a company that is selling electric cars in America. Oh yeah, VinFast is selling, yeah, you could go buy a VinFast car right now in America, right? Yes, exactly. So not a VinFast bike yet for, from what we know. None of these bikes are available outside of Vietnam yet. <laughs> uh, so you're, you're seeing them here first, folks, uh, but let's go check out that bike. Yes, let's do it. This is that bike, the first electric bike made in Vietnam that can run a long distance. And we are gonna give it a test drive today. We are in a dad bike store in Hanoi, and this is Weaver 200, the newest design of that bike. That bike was founded by a Vietnamese software engineer in 2019, and we are looking at the newest model, Weaver 200. This electric bike can run up to 200 km with a full battery. The top speed is 90 km per hour. It takes 3 hours to fully charge the battery. The strong point of this model is that it only takes 1 hour to charge the battery enough to run for 100 km. This saves a lot of time compared to other electric bikes of other companies. The price for this Weaver 200 is 54 million 900 thousand dong, about 2,300 US dollars. And now me and EJ will drive this Weaver 200. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> this is interesting, there's nothing for the feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Wow, it's silent. Yeah, right? Wow. Yes. Wow. I feel like I'm on a magic motorbike. Like no no sound. I know. It's so no weird. sound whatsoever. Wow, this is so bizarre because Yeah. It's extremely comfortable. Yeah. It's very smooth. No sound. It's totally dead silent. Yeah. And I do feel the engine braking, like when I it's it's exactly like riding a gas. Yeah. Engine. Whoa. Oh, I'm so I'm so used to having to use my feet for something. Yeah. I feel like my feet are cut off or something. <laughs> my feet keep wanting to do things the whole time. I just because you're in that motorbike motorcycle position, it didn't feel like a little city scooter. It felt like a real motorcycle. But my feet had nothing to do, and it just I kept moving my feet, like wanting to like change gears or brake or something. But there was nothing for my feet to do, so that was a little weird. But you know, I got used to it after a bit. When we stop, I hear a little bit of a grind. I think that's the right. the engine braking. The engine braking. Yeah. yeah. I can hear the engine breaking. This feels bizarre. Yeah. It feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the DAT bike was really awesome. It's very aggressive. You have this like very leaned over like cafe racer kind of riding position, which I'm not used to. I usually ride like more of a cruiser style. It's my preference. I think if I were going to buy one, I would probably want to move the foot pegs forward some and maybe get like handlebars that come back more. It'd be a little more comfortable for me. When we stop like that, it's charging the battery a little bit. Yeah. You think that like that's the most is like when 
you're like we're breaking or going downhill or something, we're charging. I hope that eventually they will do a cruiser style because having that same engine and that same speed and power and the acceleration is just amazing on that thing. I think I read on the, inter on the uh, internet that it'll go zero to 60 kilometers per hour in like three seconds. The acceleration is stronger than most gas motorcycles I've ever ridden in my life. And that was, it, it's just, you feel like the power <laughs> underneath you. So that was cool. It feels really strong, you know? I mean, not like a shitty one at all. Let's see how that thing goes. I mean, I'm not gonna like top it out. Yeah, okay. do it. Yeah. Oh my God, it feels wrong. about it is the acceleration yeah I, I I'm very much like not pushing it to its limits it's very strong it feels like you're flying I think the best thing I can compare it to is it feels like riding a roller coaster when you're going downhill it's very smooth there'll be a few little clacks here and there but it's very smooth and like totally silent you can just hear that glide that's what it felt like to me like riding a roller coaster which I love I like roller coasters too car I hate cars cars are the worst they should be riding a dat bike. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We are in Luna's old neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Luna's old stomping ground. Which I don't leave here anymore so I can knock myself. <laughs> There are a lot of people in, in Vietnam that'll take Honda wins and convert them into like a cafe racer style. And I think they got a lot of design cues from that because I see a lot of those kind of matte black with brown leather motorbikes in Hanoi, especially. I'm sure they probably got a lot of inspiration from that, but it's just a beautiful bike. If you like classic bikes, I think you'll really like it. I love the way the engine block looks and I like how it has that splash of color with the orange cube, you know, between your legs. That's what really caught my eye the first time I saw one. It made me interested in riding when actually it was just that style. So yeah, the design's really great. Great engine. Uh, the engine braking's phenomenal. And yeah, I, I, I hope I can own one one day. Holy shit! Wow! You got fast real quick that I had to grab EJ's belly. Alright, right around right this here. area here. Right. Yeah, this street, yeah. You want to drive by yourself? I do. Here goes Luna. Can you? Really? Oh no! I'm five feet two, and this motorbike turned out to be too tall and heavy for me to drive. This is me on the dat bike two hundred. Okay. You look really awesome on this. Yay! It looks very strong. Dude, I mean, like, like the style. I wish that there was less traffic because I really want to challenge this thing. It's a big motorbike. It was too big for Luna to ride. But I mean, for me, I got pretty short legs. If it was any bigger, I wouldn't want to ride it. I'm about five foot nine, five foot ten, somewhere in there. range. But I would prefer like a cruiser style, I guess. And I think that, yeah, it's probably a little bit too high off the ground for a lot of riders. So. I hope the next version has more flexibility in terms of riding position. I want to go find a wide open road so bad. The acceleration is so in intense. I think parts of, part of it's psychological because it's silent, so you're like, it's weird. Dude, I'd rather have this than like a really loud motorbike any day. Yeah. It feels like you're flying. <laughs> I'm getting used to it now. It doesn't feel like creepy anymore. Yeah. I like that 
hike. So after trying that bike, we decided to go check out electric bikes made by Vingroup. Unlike that bike, Vingroup is a mega corporation in Vietnam. They produce many products and one of them is electric bikes. Even though both that bike and Vingroup make electric bikes, but they are totally different from each other. And today we will find out how different they are. Uh, Vingroup staff just introduced me to the app for the electric bikes. It has GPS and it can tell us almost all of the information that we need about our bikes. The model that I chose today is Vento S that is in the same price range as that bike Weaver 200. It can run 110 km with a fully charged battery, about as half as Weaver 200. And top speed is 80 km per hour, 10 km slower than Weaver 200. The price is 56 million dong, about 2,400 US dollars, 100 dollars more expensive than Weaver 200. I like how they just wheel it right out of the... Well, they own the whole building, so... <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> It's like David and Goliath, that bike and Vin, Vin Group. Okay, don't kill anybody. How do you feel? How does it feel driving it? It feels really smooth and quiet, you know. So that it makes me forget that like I'm riding it. So like sometimes I just like overspeed it because like, it's so smooth and quiet. It's like, Ew! and I had to like <laughs> stop myself from like enjoying it because like too many people on the street. I wish that like there's gonna be an empty street so I can test the, the speed. I, I have a CD scooter, you can call that like automatic. So it feels a lot like driving my own scooter at home that I'm having. Just like the dad bike, it's very smooth. It was so amazing that I just beat it up without even thinking about it because I don't hear any engine or any shaking to announce me that I am speeding up. So I have to remind myself that I am riding really, really fast. It's amazing. It's amazing feeling. And I think that it's made for women, especially in the city because it's, it's short, you know, everybody can ride it. I cannot ride the dad bike because it's too tall and too heavy for my own lap. So. I mean, that is a plus point for being fast. Try it? Yeah, let's try it. Here, here, take this. Okay. Whoa! Oh my gosh, this also feels like flying. Yeah, right? Wow, it's amazing. Let's go around. I'm running high speed. The acceleration on these things is like intense. It's really? so crazy. It's better than my um, automatic CD scooter I'm having. It's a little bit uh, pricey because, yeah, with that, I want it. It should have been just like maybe like 1,500 the most. They have a cheaper model, they do, but it would be like still slower. The, the top speed is going to be like lower and then the range is going to be shorter, something like that. Sports spot? Yeah, yes. The Echo is a max is 30 square meter, uh, 30 kilometer, but the sport is like 80. Oh, he changed it to sport? Mm. Oh, interesting. Okay. There are two modes for you to choose. Echo mode with maximum speed is 30 km per hour. And sport mode with maximum speed is 80 km per hour. It's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, fine. I mean, I'm, I'm maxing it out though. I mean, that's, that's, it's almost max. VinFast is designed for the cities, like flatland, not for like mountain or like for traveling in long distance. They, they're not made for that. The fact that it's silent is so, it's at first it's unnerving. It's literally scary, especially because the engine's so powerful on the dot bike and the VinFast bike. They both have very strong engines. They're both dead silent. And at first it's almost kind of scary, but then when you get used to it, it's probably the closest I've felt to the feeling of flying on the ground. It's very smooth and it's so quiet and you just hear the wind going. 
I really like that about it. Uh, I think that the big difference between the DAT bike and the VinFast is all about the technologies. So they're both really impressive feats of technology, but with DAT bike, it's like they sat down and they said, I wanna make a good motorbike, that's it. No frills, nothing super fancy. Like you saw the dashboard was just a really simple like black and white display. It just tells you how fast you're going, it tells you how charged the battery is, how much voltage you're using, and I think the temperature, that's it. Very simple electronics, not a lot of like, there's not like, I don't, maybe there's an app, but they didn't try to sell us on the app or anything like that. It was just like, here's a motorbike, we tried to make a good motorbike with a good engine, good frame, it looks good, it's comfortable, that's it. The strong point about VinFast is that like, you're not just buying their bike, you're buying their service too, because VinGroup is a very powerful like corporation in Vietnam, so once we buy our, their motorbike, we'll have like the app and then the like maintenance service, and like the GPS to trace and track all of your traveling history. And also they have their like centers everywhere in Vietnam, literally. So we can just exchange the battery whenever we need to, or like they are charging center. It's not like that bike. That bike right now, they, they only have just two branches, yeah, one yeah. in Hanoi and one in Ho Chi Minh City. And on, on the contrary, VFAST like already everywhere. Depends on how you actually need like a long traveling distance, mountainous area to middle of nowhere, or just drive around in the cities with good services. Yeah, it, it depends, yeah. In fact, that bike, we were thinking about like, you know, if we're gonna be living in the mountains, there's like almost no place that could service it. They don't even have a shop in Da Nang yet or in the center of Vietnam at all. So they only have one in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi right now. I mean, hopefully that'll change and they'll build more over time. But right now that's a big problem. I was even thinking like the dad bike would be really great for cross country motorbike tours. But if, if it breaks down and there's nobody that can fix it, it's not possible to use that. So they're definitely gonna have to build out their infrastructure a lot more here in Vietnam uh, before people could adopt it. That's the problem with electric vehicles everywhere. You know, it's like, you gotta have charging stations or you have to have some way to, you know, take care of the bike. And it's still such a brand new like technology in its infancy electric vehicles. So I guess time will tell if that bike can build the needed infrastructure and if VinFast can build it, I guess around the world, because I'm sure they're gonna be trying to go around the world, uh, expand everywhere with that technology. So we'll see how it goes. Of course, this is the first impression. I don't know how long it lasts. Maybe it gets all kinds of problems. I don't know. But for a first impression, I, I was very impressed. Well, those were some really amazing motorbikes, I gotta say. Uh, I was very impressed with the technology. I, I thought the ride was extremely smooth on both bikes. They both yeah. go very, very fast. The acceleration's great. What did you think? I gotta say that this is also my first time riding an electric like bike like this, and I feel like really strange, you know, yeah. in, in a good way. Yeah, yeah, I in think a it's good the future. Way. It's yeah. definitely the future. Definitely. Like, I, I, I have, I've been riding motorbikes my whole life. I've always loved motorcycles. Yeah. I love, you know, big engines and stuff, but like, I don't miss, I didn't miss the gasoline engine at no, all. No, I don't, I don't. And so too I think this noisy, is the way. Too noisy, too rough and bad for environment. It you know? felt like flying or like riding a roller coaster, mm. like I said. So I definitely recommend if you get a chance to ride an electric definitely. motorbike, uh, especially one made here in Vietnam, give it mm. a chance, give it a try. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but of course you also need to check out the electric buses <laughs> and the awesome Metro system here. Luna yes. has a video about that on her channel because really the future is public transportation. Exactly. And Vietnam is focusing on green energy very badly in like right now. And our plan is that like by 2030, just like in eight years, Vietnam will be stable in green energy. Yeah. So I, I love the way that, I love the direction that Vietnam's going. Yes. I hope you've ever get a chance to come to Vietnam. You'll come give a DAT bike and a VinFast bike a test drive. All yes. you gotta do is drop off your passport and you can give it a drive here exactly. in Hanoi yes. or Ho Chi Minh City. You can also ride the DAT bike in Da Nang. Yes. Most, most places have a have a, have a a uh, VinFast. It's mm. harder to find the DAT bikes. But anyway, yes. it's a lot of fun. Check it out. Hope we'll see you here in Vietnam. I'm EJ. I'm Luna. Bye. See you next time.